So how did the story about um, you come to fight Charlie Bronson when he was coming out of the jail? Well, um, I got offered the fight because Charlie, me and Charlie, we, we became a pan, pen party and that. And, and we were really good friendly terms anyway. My sister committed suicide because you know when the two girls in the pram when I was a baby. One of the, I met them when I was 19. And we were pals, we were my sisters. Mm -hmm. And then one of them committed suicide. And when Charlie found out, he sent us a lovely letter and all that and about it and talking about suicide and all this, that and the other. Uh, and so we become like close with letters and that. And then I get a letter one day off him, Richie. I'm getting my artwork uh, displayed in Leeds. There's going to be a, this, that, and the other. No, it's all going to be for Zoe's Hospice or something. He says, and you're my guest of honour, so you've got to be here. And uh, you've got to phone this bloke up, the organiser, and blah, blah, and all that. And I thought, oh, well, nice to be asked, really. But I was busy at the time, you know. I was working and I was doing it. And I thought, I don't know if I'm going to make that. Anyway, I forgot about it. Then I get another letter. Richie, uh, you haven't phoned so and so yet. You've got to be get in touch with them, buy blah, 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 and all that. And obviously, him being, being incarcerated, well, it was a my big thing to him, you know what I mean? But to me, I just said, oh, fucking can't be bothered. I'm going here, I'm doing it. So I just forgot about it. I forgot about it, right? A few weeks later, however, gets a letter. Of Charlie, Fioman, is that your fucking game? Disrespecting people, blah blah blah, and then put the guilt trip on me. It's mm. about Zoe's hospice. It's this, it's that. Yeah, fucking blah blah blah. And I thought, <laughs> I thought, oh, you're talking, oh yo. So I wrote my letter back. I said, oh, the fuck do you think you're talking, oh yo? I'm not at your beck and call. It was nice to be asked, but you know, I do my own thing. I'm my own man. And all the fuck do you think you are? I says, you've never over fought. Nobody. Mm. Bums. <laughs> I told him, I'll put it on. I says, mm. you've over fought bums. You never fought anyone who could fight. You never fought anyone with the, the calibre of I've fought. I've fought at much higher level than what you fought. You've just knocked idiots out. I says, uh, you wouldn't last around with me, mate. So just, you know, button it type of thing. And I fucking, I knew what I did. Top of the bin, I thought he'd, he'd been doing his press ups mm. saying, Fucking kill him, Richie, I'll kill him. I'll get my parole, I'll kill him. So anyway, I was waiting for a letter back, but I didn't get one off him. I got I contacted off one of his really close pals. I was dead now. And he uh, told me to phone him, so I phoned him. We had a big chat. And uh, I says, yeah, I'll fight Charlie. He says, uh, he said, Charlie's going to get parole. It's definitely... It's on for parole, and it's gonna. So, and he wants to fight you. I says, yeah, I'll fight him. He says, uh, but it's gonna be seven thirty, seventy thirty split. He said because he's the big name, the media, the TV, the papers, they'll go crazy for him. A man who's been in case incarcerated for all that time to come out to fight, unlike all that. So there was big names involved, wanting to be involved, like. I should say, Roy Shaw, Joe Pyle, and I wanted to be involved with you know, run about the big marquee tent in London and all that, you know, all the big, mm -hmm. it's going to be massive. And I thought, well, 70 30, I thought it'll be a few quid, I'll earn a nice few quid out of this. And anyway, cut a long story short, he got knocked back on his parole, and I was fucking gutted. I was gutted, me like. Mm -hmm. So I never spoke for years and years after that, and then got in touch, and we were just, we just, uh, whatever will be will be no hard feelings and yeah. friends again after that and I heard he's going to be he's up for parole again yeah, soon and, yeah. I, and I I think he deserves it yeah, he he's, does. he's, heard, he's been in that yeah, I've heard he a lot of people on the show man. who's close with Charlie as well and they, they actually say he's a nice man they say he's actually yeah, nice he's, he's great, down, yeah. oh great man the stuff he put in them letters to mm -hmm. me sentimental stuff like uh, about my mum dying, mm. about my sister killing herself, and, and all really not spoken by a madman, sp spoken yeah. by someone with feelings, or mm -hmm. who's you know, 
Hussein Ben Alive.